Wendy Williams was cited for the first time since disclosing her diagnosis of dementia and aphasia. Where is Wendy Williams? Following the airing of a two-part Lifetime documentary on Williams in February, fans of the former talk show host who were still curious about this have some answers today. Williams, 60, hasn't been seen in public since her personal legal and health problems were made public earlier this year, last Thursday, a company in Newark, New Jersey, revealed that the former host of The Wendy Williams Show, who has not been active on social media since 2022, visited the store selling herbal supplements. And Holistic Health Products, owner of Bilingo Balance Victor Bowman shared pictures on Facebook and Instagram of Williams with her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., 24. Bowman captioned his Facebook photo, Wendy Williams come to my store. Love you very much, Queen. In response, Williams' son sent an emoji-filled Instagram remark that seemed to express his hopes for his mother's health. Folded hands medium skin tone chart increasing crossed fingers medium skin tone crossed fingers medium skin tone crossed fingers medium skin tone. Dot. Williams was pictured for the first time in public on this excursion since her teen disclosed in a press statement from February that she was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia. Shortly thereafter, the deteriorating health of the television star was the topic of Where is Wendy Williams? Williams struggles with her health throughout the documentary series, and at some point, she is taken to a treatment center. Her family discusses the dementia diagnosis in it and makes an argument to modify the guardianship that was granted to her in 2022. According to Hunter's assertion in the document, his mother was given a diagnosis of alcohol induced dementia. They basically said that because she was drinking so much, it was starting to affect her headspace and her brain, says Hunter. Primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia were the diagnoses made by her team in a news statement from February. Frontotemporal dementia, which is brought on by a group of disorders that gradually damage the brain's frontal and temporal lobes, is defined by changes in thinking and behaviors, including movement, language, and emotions, according to Alzheimer's.gov. One reason is that it's not yet fully understood.